I went on a little road trip by myself last week. I visited a dear friend of mine in Quebec City and spent a few days just hanging out and changing up my scenery a bit. It was very peaceful. Remy and Tipi came to join me on the weekend and we were invited to spend the night at a very cute cottage on the shore of the St. Lawrence River. It felt like a nice change. When we came back, we took advantage of our days off from work to tackle some little tasks around the house that we've been neglecting in order to work on other projects. One of them was to sow clover and thyme on part of the lawn that was damaged by the construction of the house. We don't like grass too much, that's why we ended up choosing something else to maintain the lush green of our front yard. Clove is a plant that covers the ground very fast and also provides nitrogen to the soil. Thyme, on the other hand, grows slowly, but once established, produce a very luxurious living carpet that blooms into purple flowers during the summer. It also smells amazing. Shoveling compost could be quite a chore, but Rémi found an enthusiast assistant that seems to find that very enjoyable. When the time came to actually sow the seeds, other assistants showed up, but they were quite disappointed by the content of the seed bag that was mistakenly confused with dog treats. After that, even if we are still in the middle of July, it was time to think about winter once again. Half of our summer is spent preparing for the cold days to come, and making firewood is very important if we want to be warm all winter. Older people here tend to have at least a year worth of wood in advance, so their stack is very dry when it's time to burn it. But since we haven't reached that point in our lives which our routine is so on point, we are just starting to do it now. It will probably take us the next few weeks to saw, split and stack all of it. At least the trees were down since last fall, so the wood had time to cure and won't be full of sap, which could prevent it from burning efficiently.
And of course, it started raining, as usual in Remy's world. I think his overly serious face might actually attract bad weather. Also in preparation for winter, I started preserving food to fool our pantry when we have plenty to eat. I really enjoy drying wild mushrooms as they bring a lot of flavor and nutrients to our meals. If you were there in last week's episode, you know that my first mushroom hunt wasn't very successful. Ew. So after that rain, I decided to go back with Rémi and our friend Roxanne to see if we could find some delicious fungi. Slugs are also on the hunt in our area, but if only I knew what we would find just minutes later, I would never have picked those eaten mushrooms. Chanterelles and their sweet apricot aroma are just a blessing. I'm no expert when it comes to wild mushrooms. That's why I stick to families which are quite easy to identify and doesn't pose too great of a hazard. Chanterelles, Bolite and Russula are usually my go-tos. Il y en a un juste à côté de ton bois, je sais pas si tu vois. Ouais, de ta, ta main elle a passé, Roxane, à côté. Comme le champignon parfait. Oh. 
Mais non, on tripe comme un petit bonnet là. Ah oui. Hey, mais j'ai pas fini. Non, non, non. Pour certaines personnes. Pour certaines personnes. Getting out in the forest is always a great pleasure for me, and I always find nature so abundant this time of year. C'est bien. Non. Ok. Chien de cueillette 1. Chien de cueillette 2. After a long walk, someone started getting visibly tired, so we decided it was enough for the day. I also started getting hungry, and you don't want to be around when I'm hungry. I can be quite voracious. Noemi, tu m'as même pas beaucoup laissé. No, no. Quoi? Amène-moi. Je suis trop fatiguée. Je veux juste manger du spaghetti. <rire> Mais t'as... Oui. Je vais te Thank you all so much for joining us again. I hope you have the time to enjoy the outside these days. And once again, have a good week. <laughs>